Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lady Cinnamon. If you're new, thanks for stopping by. We're doing some feathered pumpkin DIYs for It's Fall, y'all, episode number 18. So I'm going to be using some Dollar Tree foam pumpkins and one of those glass candle holders and removing the stem on here. And by the way, guys, I just want to say thank you for being patient. I was feeling under the weather after surgery and just needed some extra rest. So I am back feeling better and able to start posting more videos. So after these dry down, I'm going to be doing a decoupage pumpkin. And guys, you can use any craft paper you like. I chose to use some flowers because I really want this to look very um pretty and sort of chic like not really shabby chic but sort of high end because it is a feathered pumpkin now this actually is a little thick for craft paper so i'm gonna be going ahead and making it a little bit soft by putting mod podge on the reverse side of the paper and then i'm gonna apply some mod podge you can use elmer's glue also to the actual pumpkin and um, as you can see here, I'm just moving it around to see where I want to place it. And then, of course, I'm going to go back over with one more coat of the Mod Podge. Now, I would recommend that you do not use a sponge brush because you want to be able to get in all those little nooks and crannies because a pumpkin, as you know, has grooves and it's circular. So I'm just going to go back over it with, like I said, um, my fingers just to smooth it out. You don't have to necessarily do that, but you just want to make sure that all the edges are covered. And now I have it drying down. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add on the candle holder that I painted in matte black. And I took off that green stem because I'm going to be adding in one of these higher end stems that I um, pulled off pumpkins for another DIY that I'm doing in this video. I think it looks great, but I'm going to add something else. And that it's these feathers and all of the feathers I'll be doing today are feathered pumpkins if you've been rocking out with me for a while on my channel you know I love feathered DIYs and what's more extravagant than a feathered pumpkin absolutely gorgeous and it's very quick very simple and very easy and very affordable and guys I have to say I love the way this turned out this time of year, I always talk about going on Main Street in small towns and perusing in the little shops. And this looks like a little boutique item that you would see that nobody else would have. That's very curated and high end. And guys, I love it. Let me know in the description bar how you like this pumpkin. I hope you try it. Only two bucks and the other items I had on hand. You can use whatever you want that you have on hand great idea next thing is a three-tiered pumpkin it's sort of like a topiary you guys know I have this fetish for topiaries I don't know why I use leftover items this is broke off from an urn so I'm gonna be using that to put my pumpkins in as you can see I used the same matte black paint and basically glued everything together but guys I'm not gonna be using that base so don't get too attached to it just the very top of it as you can see this was previous little cake stand holder that I made it fell and broke so I painted the top of it black you probably saw that in the video by the way <laughs> and I'm just going to put that down and I'm just doing this because I need a base to hold the candle and that's just the leftover wood from Dollar Tree items from before you know I don't like to throw anything away and now we're just going to start assembling our pumpkin topiary now the first thing I'm going to do is this black solder trim it's so pretty um, you do want to get it on the trim and I'm just going to hot glue that to the edges to cover up those wood farmhouse boho beads and I want the feather to basically overlap the sides to really give it that pretty extravagant look that I'm going for. Uh, very, very high end, one of a kind curated items. And that's basically what I'm going for. I actually used this topiary for um, a tablescape collab that I was in. And I absolutely love the way it turned out. It was an avant-garde tablescape. So of course, this three-tier pumpkin will be over the top. You can see already how beautiful these feathers are. They are gorgeous. And I had these pumpkins for a while and I decided to use these. I'm going to be reusing these stems. So that's what you saw earlier. I just moved it off the top of it. I'm going to do that with two of them. And I have these in three sizes, the biggest on the bottom and then the other two on top. So as you can see, I'm switching up the trim a little bit. This was a feather boa that I had that um, I was going to use for um, a DIY shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and I had some leftovers, so of course I'm going to use it for this. All I'm going to do is remove the stem from this pumpkin also, and I got these from um, Amazon. I could use put all the um, items I use rather in the description bar below. And I'm just going to glue that pumpkin onto the next one with a little hot glue. Wrap this around until um, it meets basically measuring it 
by eyeballing it nothing big and I'm gonna cut it right there and glue it together this is the quickest easiest DIY you will ever do I didn't even pump, uh, paint the pumpkins rather because they don't need to be painted now for the last pumpkin it's the smallest I'm going to leave the stem on it just clip a small piece of this same trim which is the boa glue it in place and now I'm going to embellish it with some leftover peacock um, feathers and also some of this other solder trim that I had from leftover DIY I never throw anything away because you could always always use those pieces the reason I'm bringing this color in is because the tablescape that I told you about was peacock themed and it was an avant-garde tablescape so that's why this one is going to be so over the top but keep in mind I changed the base out later all I'm doing now is just adding in feathers and gluing them to the top with the dab of hot glue making sure that it does not touch the feather so it doesn't get glue on it and it was really that simple and that quick and easy and this will be the topper for my three-tiered pumpkin topiary and very simple very quick very easy it probably took me all of 15 minutes to do this entire three-tiered pumpkin besides the paint that I had to let dry of course so all I'm doing is repeating the same process with using this um, this boa trim and I'm going to be using that on my next DIY also and so for the bottom I'm just bringing in some of those feathers I pulled them out of the trim for this color it's a really pretty teal peacock blue color and I'm just adding this in while the hot glue is still a little hot and I think it looks absolutely fabulous and I repeated that process now you can see I changed out the bottom I thought it was a little too high and I wanted to bring it down in height to go with my tablescape and aesthetic that I was creating so I just changed it out with the Dollar Tree um, candle holder and I think it looks amazing guys let me know what you think I was thinking about painting the pumpkins um, gold but I left them white for the contrast for the tablescape, but I still might paint them. But let me know how you like this three-tiered pumpkin. I absolutely love it. I think it looks really nice and really high-end, and the feathers are fabulous. You will have the most conversation piece with this on your tablescape trust me guys and I just love the way it turned out and I like I think it looks really great so yeah just leave a comment below and let me know which one you like and which one is your favorite and I do have one more now this is that little um piece that broke so I didn't want to waste it I took that last little white pumpkin with the stem on it and I just added a little bit of the boa feather on top and as far as that broken area I just applied a little white paint over it to give it more of a glossy look to match the actual um, gloss on the bottom for the base and that's it I am done with this this took a hot second and I think it's so cute I was gonna paint the back the bottom black but I decided to keep it white for contrast it'll stand out and it'll have its own uniqueness and be a variant to the other two pumpkins I think it looks absolutely fabulous next to the decoupage pumpkin and I love the way it looks so I hope you guys like it too um, it's a trio I am using these to decorate the decoupage pumpkin went into my guest bathroom where I have sort of a French country decor theme in there that I'm going to continue throughout this rest of this year and as you can see all of the pumpkins are together so I hope you guys like these please comment below and let me know what you like and what you don't like uh, it doesn't matter either way I love to read your comments and don't forget to give this a thumbs up they help our channels out so much and allows other people to find us on YouTube and lets YouTube know that we are creating good uh, content so yeah, and don't forget to hit the bell twice if you're going to subscribe. I just want to thank you all for being so patient. And I will see you all in the next video. And thank you all for watching.